Hey guys, it's Mike Laji here, your YouTube comic consultant, here to let you know we have the exclusive interview with Dan Slott, the writer of the amazing Spider-Man and Silver Surfer at Forbidden Planet. Now, I can't wait for you guys to watch it. I'm so excited. Enjoy. Um, the whole saga with the um, Cold Conspiracy, uh, what way do you uh, actually bring, bring back Ben Riley? Yeah. Oh, I always, I always, I always knew we were going to bring back Ben Riley yeah. as, a, as a flat out villain. Yeah. He was going to come back as a villain. Um, I want it because people kept saying, like, how are you going to bring back Ben Riley? Because yeah. you have that story where he turns into like dust and yeah. goo. You know, he's just like, and I was always saying, like, he can't. You know he's goo, mm. so I wanted to have some sort. Obviously, he had to come back from the dead. Yeah. Then I had this idea of like um, the jackal c trying over and over and over again to bring him back. Yeah. So he just kept like Prometheus. He just kept dying and being resurrected. And what would that do to your mind? Yeah. And the day he would snap and take out the jackal, and then he would become the jackal. Yeah. I always knew I had that bit in my pocket. Oh, okay. And I knew it was. <laughs> I knew. I knew it was gonna tick off. Every Ben Riley fan, yeah. But the gag wasn't bring Ben Riley back; it was bring him back in this horrific way no. that would just like, because we know what Peter's like, yeah. And we know what a clone of Peter is like, yeah. Let's really mess him up and make him the bad guy, yeah. Because when you did that, I I, I remember it like it was just I was eating my cereal, and I was just <laughs> reading it, and I went, "What? No. He's the jackal? No. Why? Why? <laughs> yeah." <laughs> Oh, Dude, that was very yeah. evil of you. Yeah, but, yeah, but yeah. surprised me because it's that a whole left turn for me. So that that I live for that. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I was being Joe about that. What else as well? Um, also, yeah, you brought the hawk back. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, you mean after post superior? Yeah. Well, originally. Um, Spider Verse yeah. was going to be part of Superior Spider Man. Yeah. Um, where we had that uh, 2099 and then the Superior Venom story. Yeah. Those stories did not exist. Spider Verse was going to go in there. Oh. And we were getting ready. We were right up to the point we were going to do it. And when we had, we have these meetings like two, uh, three or four times a year yeah. where it's all the big writers and all the editors in a room and we work everything out. Yeah. And we always tell everybody where we've been where we're going and where we're going long term so yeah. everyone in that room had heard the superior they, they'd heard the spider verse story a hundred times they just they heard it over and over and over again mm -hmm. and right when we're getting ready to do it axel alonzo our editor-in-chief goes wait a minute this is happening during superior because he knew when peter was coming back we, yeah. they, all, they everyone in the room knew when peter was coming back yeah and he assumed that the spider verse was going to happen when peter was back yeah i'm like no no it's it's with doc ock and he's like, what? I'm like, yeah, no, it's, it's going to be like the Joker leading an army of Batman. Yeah. It's going to be like the weirdest thing. It's going to be great. And he went, but Peter Parker isn't in the story. And I say to him, like, there are hundreds of Peter Parkers in this story. And Axel Alonso, grown man, editor-in-chief of Marvel Comics, goes, not the real one. Are you for real? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it started like a whole argument for like a day. Yeah. Everyone, like, people like, no, don't do this during Superior. Do it when Peter comes back. We're like, this is the Doc, it's Doc Ock's story. And we kept arguing about it, and they made me take all of of uh, Spider-Verse, yeah. lift it up out of Superior and move it to when Peter came back. And we were while we were arguing about this, we are going into two days of arguing about this. On the second day, my editor, Steve Wacker, he's like still arguing, no, we want to do it in Superior, this was always the plan. Mm -hmm. And at one point, I'm just sitting there smiling. And I'm like, no, we, we can do it when Peter comes back. I'm like, really? Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll do it when Peter comes back. And he's like, why are you smiling? I'm like, don't worry. Let's, this is a big argument. It's everyone against us. We're not going to win. This is fine. I'll figure out a way to do it. And and when we left the room, Steve was like, I can't believe you. I, and he walks off. And Tom Brevoort goes over to me. He's like, I know why you were smiling. I'm like, why? And he's like, you figured out. <laughs> if, if, they're let, if they're making you do Spider-Verse after Peter comes back, you're still writing the book when Peter goes like, yes, yes. Because there was all this talk about me leaving when Superior is over. Yeah. And suddenly everyone in the room agreed I should write Spider-Verse when Peter comes back. And I was like, I'm still on the book. <laughs> I kept going on the book. So I was like, I did the math and I'm like, this is great. Oh my yeah. God. So the reason we did the 2099 story. Yeah was because I had all these things in Spider-Verse I wanted Doc Ock to do, so we needed to bump him forward in time so that I... Hence the issue 33 as well. 
So that's why I did that story <laughs> yeah. where Spider-Verse was going to go to purposely, even though Doc Ock's story was going to end in 31, yeah. to bump him into the future. Oh. Yeah, but then I realized once I bump him into the future, he can find out that he's going to die, and then he can figure out a way to stop himself from dying. So then you can get Doc Ock back in the present, and I was like, oh, this all works. This is going to be fun. Yo, mastermind. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, thanks, Hi, this is Dan Slott. You're watching Comic Consultant, the best thing on the internet!